Welcome to another sketchbook session where I pick a random marine creature, draw it in my sketchbook and tell you guys weird and wonderful facts about that creature. Finding out weird animal facts about our oceans is something that is right up your street. Then make sure to check out the rest of the sketchbook sessions videos after you watch this one and go on and head over to subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on really random facts because that's what these videos are filled with. Today we are going to be talking about one of the creatures that everyone loves and that is the starfish. Now everyone loves a starfish because they look like stars. I'm happy that people love any creature in the ocean so I'm very pleased that people love starfish so much but I want to make sure that you guys are loving it for the right reason. Sure, they look like a star, it's a pretty shape, it's quite awesome, but actually you should be loving starfish because they are pure evil. Okay, maybe they're not evil, but they are definitely, definitely top predators on the rocky shore. So starfish like to live just below on the seafloor um, or just below the intertidal zone but they also come up and you can find them rock pooling and here is when they do the evil I really shouldn't call them evil. The reason I want to point out and the reason I'm emphasising this point about them is that starfish look like such a harmless creature. It's a star, it's pretty but they fit into our ecosystem right as a really, really voracious predator. And that's one of the great things about learning about oceans and ecosystems and the things that fit in where, because something that might look harmless to you or I is actually the worst nightmare of um, other creatures. So why and how do starfish become predators? Well, starfish have arms, which are the classic star shape, and these are really, really strong. This is a problem for our friend mussels. No, not these guys. Mussels as in the mussels you eat for food, the mussels that sit in a shell like this, uh, mussels that you find um, on the shore. The mussels which can't move and are stationary, they've chosen to live where they live, and they're all living together, are here going, Oh no, the starfish is coming. Ooh. They completely close up and lock their shells. Completely locked in, really strong. They use muscles within their own muscles um, to kind of clump together and they are really, really trying their best not to open. Now the starfish are walking along with this. That's an impression of their cheap feet. Tube feet are like little plungers or suckers on the bottom of the starfish that they kind of move like this. Um, and if they move all of them, uh, the starfish can move. And it's going over over the uh, the muscles, which are like it uses its arms to uh, it uses its arms and tube feet to kind of get a grip on the muscle and is able to pull open the muscle just a little bit. And then something really gross happens. Muscles are super, super strong, so it can only pull it out a, a little bit. This muscle is fighting to stop uh, this, this starfish opening it and the starfish has adapted you know, to have just enough power to pull open uh, the muscle just a tiny bit. So then how does it eat it? Well, this is gonna get gross, guys. So if you don't like gross things, I suggest you spend the rest of this time of this video going to subscribe to me. Um, but also, also, I think you should stay watching because it's really cool. Now the gross warning is out the way. I hope no one clicked off, though. I suppose you wouldn't be seeing this if you had. The starfish will actually be able to eject its stomach into the muscle through that tiny gap. Imagine just, you know, bringing up your stomach organ and chucking it in a shell through a tiny hole. And in the stomach, it has lots of uh, digestive enzymes, which are basically things to make the muscle turn to mush so that it can kind of 
slurp it all back up in its stomach and the muscle can fit back through that tiny gap and uh, the starfish has had a nice muscle smoothing. Again, pure evil. Really cool thing to know because starfish form a really important part of our ecosystem and that means that if there are starfish around then it's going to be a more healthy environment because there's food for these predators to be eating and also they then provide food for other bigger things to eat it too. So don't just think of a starfish as this cute little star that's not in the sky anymore. It's far more than that. It is, it is a complete work of evolutionary genius to make it a very gross very evil and very important part of the rocky shore so i really hope you appreciate starfish a bit more thank you for watching today's video again i keep shouting about subscribing but it really helps youtube um remind them that i exist as a channel and helps uh, convince them to share my stuff with more people and the more people that learn up that starfish throw their entire stomachs out to eat i feel like it's just going to help the world just a little bit because I, I want to gross out as many people as I can. Thanks for watching and tune in next time and next Wednesday for another Marie Mumbles video where you will be sure to learn weird facts, see weird creatures and probably uh, see some artwork as well. So have a great week until then. See you next week. Bye.